Hey, what's good, champions? Arian Tyson here, back with part three, part three of things that you should insist on doing for yourself. So this is the third video. If you missed the first two videos, I'm going to leave links to those two videos in the description box below this video. So make sure you go back and check out what was discussed in those previous two videos. So today we're going to wrap this up and I'm going to share with you two more things that you should insist on doing for yourself starting now. You don't have to wait till the end of the year to do it, but start right now. So one of the things that you should insist on doing is insist on stretching yourself in the right ways. And again, many great things can be done in a day if you don't always make that day tomorrow. Will it always be easy? Of course not. But remember that when you're struggling to make progress, that's when you actually are. You want to be stretched to the edge of your ability. It needs to be slightly hard and uncomfortable sometimes. And of course, most of us don't want to be uncomfortable, so we subconsciously run from the possibility of discomfort. The obvious problem with this is that by running from discomfort, we are constrained to partake in only the opportunities within our proverbial comfort zones. And as you've heard me say time and time again, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Not only that, the comfort zone is the danger zone. And since our comfort zones are relatively small, we miss out on most of life's greatest and healthiest experiences, and we get stuck in a debilitating cycle. So we have to choose differently, starting now, starting today. Go to environments that expand your mind. Spend time with people who inspire you to stretch yourself, to challenge yourself. Read books, grow, get better. The rest of the year and beyond is in your hands. And then the another thing that you can do that I insist that you do for yourself is insist on reminding yourself when you can of why every step matters. Every step matters. In the end, all the small things make a big difference, right? Every step is crucial. Life is not about a single moment of great triumph and, att and attainment. It's about the trials, the tribulations, the errors that slowly get you there, the blood, the sweat, the tears and the small, inconsequential things you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It all matters in the end. It all adds up in the end. Every step, every regret, every decision, every minor setback, and every m small win. The seemingly useless happenings add up to something. And that's what you got to remember. The minimum wage job that you had in high school, the evenings that you spent socializing with coworkers you never see anymore, right? The hours that you spent writing thoughts on a personal blog that no one reads, contemplations about elaborate future plans that never came to be. All those lonely nights spent reading novels and news columns and comic strips questioning your own principles on life and sex and religion and whether or not you're good enough just the way you are. All of this has strengthened you into who you are now. All of this has led you to every success you've ever had. All of this has made you who you are today. And all of this proves that you have the strength to deal with the challenges in front of you. So keep giving yourself grace. And by all means, carry on. So I wanted to share that with you today. 
keep the video short, sweet, to the point. If you got value from this video, feel free to like, comment, and share this video. Thank you so much to those that have recently subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you can get contacted and notified of when I upload new content. And as always in life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. It's yours truly, Arian Tyson, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.